But up first, last Tuesday, some people thought they heard explosions. Others said, no, no, I think that's the mountain erupting. Turned out it was a pair of F-15 fighter jets out of the 142nd Oregon Air National Guard out of Portland. They, uh, they were scrambled at supersonic speed because a seaplane had breached restricted airspace and got a little too close to the president's plane. So how'd they get up here so fast? Well, St. Brian is standing by in Portland with more. St. Jim, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, the Air National Guard is on alert and ready to respond against any threat against the Northwest. It takes teamwork, though, to get the fastest jets in the West up in the air. The F-15 Eagle is the kind of jet you want watching the back. Undefeated in air-to-air -air combat, at full active burners, an F-15 can fly well over 700 miles per hour, breaking the sound barrier and creating sonic booms loud enough to rattle nerves. Whoa, what was that? I don't know. That was really loud, wasn't it? It's all part of Operation Noble Eagle. Since World War II, the 142nd Oregon Air National Guard has been protecting the Pacific Northwest with F-15s on 24-7 alert. We practice every day, and so when the actual notification comes, we're able to start the engines from a dead sleep, literally, in the middle of the night to being airborne in just a few minutes. Most F-15s are single-seat jets. The pilots get all the glory. But at the home of the fighting Red Hawks, pilots know they're only one part of a team. We like to say the tip of the spear, but there's a long spear and catapult that basically launches that machine. It's a home team Air Force with more than its share of home team fans. Go Huskies! <laughs> Most of the airmen are in the reserve. On our visit, we met a construction worker, a pilot, and a teacher, all doing their part to make sure those jets are always ready to fly. We've got more than 1,000 people down here that uh, work to keep uh, these jets on alert. So whether it's a weapons loader, a civil engineer, a crew chief working on these planes, it's huge pride. It's a mission that doesn't come without challenges. Many of the jets were built in the late 70s and early 80s. So it's a joke that about, about uh, half of our pilots are younger than the airplanes now. So, about half of the wing's entire staff is devoted to maintaining the jets. They don't do pleasure flights. When they go up, they're, they're pulling G's and they're yanking and banking pretty hard. So, we keep a close lookout in all the known areas for cracks. These airplanes get torn down to the frame about once every five years, and every year we turn them down to the, just the bare bones. So, we do a great job maintaining them. And that's the secret is just, just constant vigilance, constant maintenance, constant inspections, checkups. To keep them flying. And flying fast. How quickly can an F 15 take off from PDX and be in Seattle? That is something the Air National Guard wants to keep secret. So we'll just say it's a matter of minutes. It must be infuriating to drive on I 5 when you can fly that fast. <laughs> yeah, you'd think so. You kind of get over it pretty quickly, though. It's a very humbling job. I think we all want to make sure that we're home safe with our family. Colonel Stencil says that although those booms may have rattled a few nerves in our area last week, we should actually feel comforted by them because that's proof that those planes could get up and get here within just a few minutes.